Next up, we're you know, going over the guided practice for unit you know, for parallel lines. First one, one pair of perpendicular segments. Remember, perpendicular means that we need that right angle. There's only one right angle in this picture, so that would be segment BD is perpendicular to segment DF. If you don't have that symbol, put AND instead. Next up, we're looking for one pair of parallel planes. There's only one set of parallel planes in this figure because it is a triangular prism. And those are our parallel planes. So we'd have plane ABC and plane EDF. Yes, the order matters. What's under A is E, what's under B is D, and what's under C is F. Next up, angle 1 and angle 2 are both on line N, so line N is the transversal. And the other part, these are one outside, one inside, so we have corresponding angles. Next up, we're looking at angle 2 and angle 3. That means that angle 1 and 4 is extra. These are both exterior angles on different sides. And the line that's going through them, that's our transversal, is line M. So we have line M for our transversal and alternate exterior angles. Then we're looking at angle 2 and angle 4, which means that angle 5 and 3 are extra. And our transversal is line N, because it's the line that they're both on. And these are between the two other lines, so they're interior angles on different sides of the transversal. So these are alternate interior angles. Then we're looking at angles 4 and 5. Angles 4 and 5 are both on line P, which makes line P the transversal. And they're on the same side of that transversal, and they're both interior angles. So this is same side interior angles. So when you're typing this in, you either need to cheat type out the entire word, like I just did, including both parts of the answer, not just one. Or if you're going to shorten it, you need to use the abbreviations that are on the notes. Next up, describe the type of lines forming by two planes when flight 1449 is flying from San Francisco to Atlanta at 32,000 feet. And flight 2390 is flying from Dallas to Chicago at 28,000 feet. So I know most of you are going ah. If I just draw a line from one to the other, those look like they're perpendicular but they're not, because most of you forgot that they are flying at different heights. Because one plane, this one, is flying at 32,000 feet, and the other one is flying at 28,000 feet. So they don't actually meet in the air and have a plane crash. These are skew lines.
Next up, we want to use that 120 degree angle for all four of these problems and justify why you can say you know those angles. First one, angle one, one's outside, one's inside. Angle one is 120 degrees because they both are both obtuse angles and their corresponding angles. And we're looking at angle four. Again, both obtuse angles, so this is 120 degrees. And we know it's 120 degrees because those are both interior angles on different sides of the transversal, which makes them alternate interior angles. Then we're looking at angle seven. Again, it's an obtuse angle, so we know it's 120 degrees. But this is not on all three lines, so it's not one of those four angle pairs that we talked about today. We know these are congruent. Why do we know they're congruent? because they're vertical angles. And then we're looking at angle three and that 120. Now, these are not both obtuse, but what kind of angle pair do we have? They're both interior angles on the same side of the transversal, so these are same side interior angles. And we know that same side interior angles add up to 180 degrees. So we take that 120 and subtract it from 180, which gets us 60 degrees. And last up, we'll find the variable. And we have same side interior angles because they're on the same side of the transversal and they're both inside of the two other lines. And we know that same side interior angles are supplementary. They add up to 180 degrees. So we're going to add 6x plus 3x plus 9 and set it equal to 180. Combine your like terms. So 9x plus 9 equals 180. Subtract 9 from both sides. And divide by 9. And when we divide by 9, we get 19. Again, make sure that you are either typing out entire words, including angle, or you're using the appropriate abbreviations from the notes.